Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to dig in a little bit deeper into Profile Manager. And so we're going to talk about how you can enroll devices in Profile Manager so you can start to manage them. Now if you remember back in the episode where we talked about installing Profile Manager, we went through the whole process of setting up this screen here and turning on the service, making sure that uh, we had device and management enabled, we had the profile uh, that we wanted to assign configuration profiles, uh, all of those kinds of things. We set this up and got Profile Manager running. We've got a green dot on the side, we know everything's going fine. And as we began to add services over here like address book, uh, iCal, iChat, those services began to show, the little icons for those services began to show right here on this configuration profile. And that's because we have a basic default configuration setting for everyone, where it allows everyone to get access to these different services and things, so that when we enroll their devices, their devices will automatically take these configuration profiles with them. And it's a pretty, nice, pretty neat thing to have set up and running uh, on your server, and so it's a nice simple way to make it happen. Now, you'll notice on the server I've got two different links here. I've got a visit user profile and I've got open profile manager and so you may have already clicked these but let me just show you if I click open profile manager uh, it will bring up a screen here that will show me and I've already logged in normally it'll ask you to log in that will show you um, you know the profile manager itself and it's a web interface so you can access it uh, from anywhere uh, just about to be able to manage these different things so that if something goes wrong and you want to manage it remotely you can do that you'll notice it's a simple three paned setup where you've got your library on this side uh, you've got the different users and uh, groups and things in here and then you've got the more the details on this side and so you'll notice we've got you know area for devices we've got device groups users groups now uh, the users and groups are what we already set up on our original server uh, set up and so those things will be populated here automatically uh, devices will show up as we enroll them and then you can make device groups out of them to make it easier to manage and, and I'll go into this in detail in, in another screencast uh, but you'll notice here on the side just uh, you notice for the profile for everyone all users here again is a uh, user profile it's got VPN it's got iCal iChat and uh, address book as well as other general settings and so you can see that those profiles even transfer and talk over here now, what I want to do is show you how you get items in this devices list. So that's the first thing I want to show you. And so let me just uh, pop this down here. And that normally happens when you click this visit user uh, portal when you're actually in the server app. But what I want to show you is what it looks like on the end user side, not just on your side, because they're going to see the same page that you click on here on their side. They've just got to put in a web address or you need to send them the link or something to make it happen. And so what I'm going to do is show you what that looks like um, by taking a look at a screen share that I've got going on another computer. So hey, let me just pull that up. Okay, so now I am up on the other computer uh, that I want to enroll, and so I want to make this laptop available to me to manage on device ma on Profile Manager. And so what I simply need to do is pull up a web browser and just basically type in your server name, okay, with a slash, okay, your server name.com with a slash, and then just put my devices in there. All right, you put my devices in there, and what it does, it takes you to a login screen. And then what you want to do is you want to log in as the user of that computer. Okay, so whoever the user of that computer is, you want to log in as that person. Now, you'll notice you're taken to a screen that basically says this Mac, you know, if you want to enroll it or not, with a big button, it says enroll this Mac to allow it to be remotely managed. All right, now, it allows you to lock the computer, it allows you to do all kinds of things remotely, so that's what we want to do. We want to add this computer to Profile Manager, but because we're using a self-signed certificate, because that's what I set you up on when we talked about using this for home users, uh, we need to do something first. Now, if you're using an SSL certificate that you bought on the outside, and so everything's sort of checked uh, over the internet, then all you need to do is click this enroll button. But for those of you that set up the uh, the self-signed certificate on your server, so you did it yourself, uh, you need to you need to convince your Mac to be able to trust the server, right? So that the so that your Mac says, oh, okay, it's okay to talk to this server and trust anything it pushes at me because you've told me to trust it. And so you can see we've got two configuration profiles here. We got settings for everyone, which as I showed you on the other screen, um, that is the things that we've already set up, right? iChat, uh, iCal. Uh, address book VPN. Okay, that's what this one is. We'll install that later. And then we have this trust uh, profile, which basically, again, is our certificate that says it's okay to trust it. So what we're going to do is install this first. All right, and get this installed into the computer so that our computer learns that, hey, it's okay to trust uh, this particular certificate. Now, you'll notice what it does is it pulls up 
System Preferences. You can see that up here. And this is a, a section that you don't have yet in System Preferences, which is Profiles. And then it says, hey, is it okay to install this Trust Profile for the server that wants to talk to me? And you can look at the profile if you want to, but I'm just going to say Continue. Yeah, that's fine. And so then it says, are you sure you want to do this, right? Because, hey, if someone gets access to this, they can do whatever they want with it. And so I say, yeah, I know who this is, so I'm going to install it. And so what you have to do is then authenticate uh, by the user of the computer, uh, because it's a root level kind of a thing. And so now it's going to install the certificate. And you'll notice that now the certificate is showing over here. It's got my profile. It says it's verified. Uh, everything is set up and the certificate's ready to go. It's now installed on my Macintosh. And if you want to see, if I just go back to show all for a second, uh, you can see that now in system area there's a new section here called profiles. And that's where your profiles will actually be set up and that's where uh, different things that we do will show up. Okay, so let's let's pull this down for a second. I'm going to pop this back down. It's going to pull it back up in a minute anyway probably. And so now that I've got that installed, now it's okay for me to go and enroll my device. So I'm going to click this enroll button and it's going to go about the process now of enrolling my computer and so now it says hey do you want to install device enrollment you sure you want to make that happen and I say sure I want to I want to do that so it's going to install me now so that I will show up on profile manager as a device that can be managed and so it's going to take a little minute uh, a little bit there to install it it's going to add the components that it needs to add to be able to talk to the device and push the information there and once it's done, we'll show it'll show the uh, device enrollment certificate in the profile area. So, again, it may ask me if I'm sure I want to do that. Yes, I do. Continue. Yes, I'm sure. And so it's going to install this remote management profile as well. And so there we go. So now it's showing that it's okay for for uh, for my profile manager to manage this computer. And you notice the little icon there kind of has a little gear like we saw in the profile manager on our other uh, computer. The other thing that changes is if you if you look on here, if I just uh, if I just toggle back and forth here for a second uh, and go back to devices, you'll notice now that the device shows there is a device that's managed. It's got the serial number. It knows all the information about this device. I'll show you that in a second. And I have the ability as a user now to either lock or wipe my computer. And so if I lose my computer for some reason and I don't want anybody to have access, I can click lock and I can lock the computer. Uh, or if I want to wipe the drive so that everything's clean on the drive, I can wipe the drive so that as soon as the computer comes online uh, on the internet, it'll then go about the process of emptying the drive out and wiping it. Now, a couple of, of little cautions on this. Uh, when you lock it, uh, when you click lock on this for your Mac, it'll give you a deal with a password that you put in. Now, if you forget the password that you put in there, uh, you won't be able to unlock that Mac. So you want to be careful when you're playing with this, if you're going to test it, that whatever you put in there as a password when this lock thing comes up, that you actually, uh, you know, remember that password or uh, you're, you're kind of in trouble. There's no way to uh, unlock it at that point. It's very secure. Uh, the other thing with wiping, once you wipe it, uh, again, all that data is gone. So you want to make sure that you have a, a backup there. Now, if you ever want to remove this device uh, as an end user or whatever, you can remove it from here, uh, from the devices area if you want to. Uh, I'll show you you can also remove it in Profile Manager. So you can do it either way, however you want to do it. Now, let me just show you what it means now to, to install a profile. So now that I got this profile settings for everybody, right, which is going to set up sort of the iChat, CalDAV, CardDAV, VPN, all that kind of stuff, let's, uh, let's try to install that. So if I click the install button here to install this profile, it's going to go now and find the profile and allow me to then install it. And I'm showing you this so that you can see how you actually install profiles into this. So settings for everyone, yes, I want to continue. So we're going to kind of walk through the exact same thing. Now, what it does is it now, now brings up a number of steps. So it says, hey, what, what is the, uh, you know, for the settings, what's the password? It's optional if you want to put it in or not. But if you put it in, then it will automatically access your um, card dev, which is your address book. So if I just put in uh, the password of the user again who's using this. So you put in that password, and you click Next, and now the same thing for CalDAV. Okay, and I'm going to put that in. And now the same thing for iChat. Okay. Now it's going to go and it's going to configure those, those things. So it's installing it right now. And now what it's literally doing is it's going in and setting up my address book, it's setting up my iCal stuff, and it's setting up my iChat with all the information that I already configured on my server. 
and so the login information, uh, all of the details, those things right now are uh, are getting installed. And so we're going to uh, let this run here. And uh, when it's done, then we'll pull it back up and we'll see what okay, it looks like. Okay, now that everything has been installed, you can see that now the settings for everyone profile has been added to my profile area in uh, System Preferences. You can see that I've got an iChat account, VPN, uh, CalDAV, which is my iCal, and my CardDAV all set up. Uh, and you'll notice next to it, it shows the, uh, the different uh, uh, login uh, information over here, uh, who the user is. Uh, and the same thing with your different accounts down below. And so uh, now everything's set up. And the great thing about this is now this computer is ready to go with my basic profile that I had set up. So this person now is ready to use all those services I set up. The computer is now enrolled and everything's ready to go. So let me just, uh, let me just get out of this screen share here for a second. And let's come back to Profile Manager. And what I want to do is I'm going to pull up the uh, Profile Manager again. Okay, so let me just pull up Profile Manager again, and uh, I'm going to reload this for a second just so that I make sure that uh, all of the updates have taken place. And so let me just reload Profile Manager here so it's going to spin for a second and load up all my information. And now what I'm going to do is go to my Devices area here, and now it's going to load all of my devices. And you'll notice right there at the very top is the computer that I enrolled. This is the computer. It's showed up now. It's ready to go. Uh, it's got the information over here. It's got a general uh, profile set up. And so now this device here is ready to be managed. It's ready for me to set information up on it. And let me just show you a couple of things here about the device uh, area of Profile Manager so you can get a feel for it. Uh, you can see I've got the general profile set up. I can edit this profile anytime I want. So if I just uh, click the edit button, it takes me in and gives me the opportunity to edit some information on it. I'm going to go into this in more depth when we talk about profiles, but I just wanted to show you that that's there. Uh, it has an area where it shows uh, any activity, and here's updates that I've done, right? When I installed those three profiles, it shows me the information on those three profiles right here on the screen, uh, which is nice. Now, the other interesting thing is there's an About section, which literally gives me detailed information about my computer. It gives me how big the hard drive is, the software version I'm using, the, the build version, the serial number. Uh, I've got uh, other details on the computer. Uh, like the Ethernet uh, MAC address, the Wi-Fi MAC address, all this information here, which is incredible. Uh, it also has the different any restrictions I've put on the computer, which I haven't put any on, so those are empty. I'll show you how you can put those on later. Uh, it even shows my installed applications on here. So, I mean, it pulls quite a bit of information that allows you to manage your device. Uh, and then you got in-device groups, right? If I'm in any groups, it shows the groups that are here. And let me, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. And then finally, we have the certificates, right? Where it has all the different certificates and things that I've added. So, it gives you quite a bit of information. And so, uh, so that, that just gives you an overview of this whole process. And so, it's really kind of a neat deal when you enroll devices. You really get uh, a high-angle view of everything you need to use to uh, manage devices in Profile Manager. All right, well, that's all I have for this week's uh, screencast. Uh, I'll come back at you next week, and we'll continue our talk on Profile Manager. But uh, that's all I have for this week. So I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.